Yep, I also that walked dies. in. Can yeah, you yeah, go, go on, go on. Into this electric child, and we're probably gonna get spicy. Not at the best state, but we'll do what we can. Oh, it's this little guy. True. Oh my god, my team's gonna get destroyed. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? If I'm not wrong, we just head in and help the guy with a power issue. But I could be entirely wrong. The guy that we saw in the little castle princess little yeah. world yeah. or whatever. We're probably gonna get screwed considering uh, our levels as you guys would have seen. Not at their best yet, but we'll do what we can. Okay, now we need to answer his questions correctly, I believe. Oh, did he say that? Oh, I just walked past him. Ah, bro yeah. is not asking me yeah. questions. There's too much electricity is what you say. I think that's what he said. Electric power, too much Yoda. But fortunately, it didn't take us very long. Just two thousand years later. Ah, leave, leave the, leave the house, leave the building. I have there left it. Oh, outside. there seems to be something outside it. He counted his charger bombs. There's six of them. Interesting. Now what? He said something about three. I think I should have read that a little slower. Wow. Oh, electric, electric is what he tells me. For some reason. He counted his bugs. There are six of them. I have a feeling that we are supposed to go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, the flag is somewhere else. So hop on to your Tauros and I think we're heading out Run. down south. So since we didn't read it, we ended up loitering around the place downhill and there I found myself in Minyard. Uh, yup, Moopy captured. Uh, Rat found himself in LGM. It was not much fun since we spent another hour right here. So at least I think bulls don't make me motion sick anymore. No, I'm telling you this is not LGM. Oh, okay. But, but anyway, on the brighter side I'm of things... My Horopi has evolved. Not actually. Oh, let's go. Yes, now I have a full on big bulky boy. Six and a half hours later. We're like, we're actually like really dumb. There's a patch of grass just below the blonde guy, and there's like random rocks. Talk to those rocks, and three charge bugs will come out of them. Once we finally realized what we had to do, we quickly returned, collected all the charger bugs. With the final one, our trial finally began. The trial hadn't started yet? Oh god. No, the trial started. Okay, yup, then I'm in as well. Let me just, uh... Okay, yup. I forgot to buy these. Oh, fancy. Okay, I'm gonna we battle these or we just... No, I don't think we're battling them. Was that cute? Found you. Is that it? Something. And the charger bugs are all going inside. Yes. Uh, okay. I have officially started, I think. So I shall wait for you. We walk straight in. Very underprepared for this trial. But who cares? Let's just begin. So the trial was about arranging these charger bugs in the right order to complete the circuits and that's precisely what we did. It was like your old math problems back from school, not very difficult. We were charging the Vikervolt battery, meeting into Elikids and Electa buzzes. Then I continued connecting the charger bugs to charge the white Vikervolt battery, battled an Electa buzz and finally we had to arrange them in this strange diagonal manner to complete a Z. So that's precisely what I did. Once we did that, I believe we had a short wait for Rat. All right. I'm guessing. I mean, yes. This yep. That. Then, but... That definitely seemed to have worked. Okay. Oh. And I'm cut Yep. I think that that gets us to level three. What no swift Electra bug? With a very animated movement of the Vikovold battery and their faces. At the, same time. the torturing of a Pokemon finally called on its friend. Oh. Team. Okay, the Maru, let's go. It is. Okay, the Maru, let's it go. Is. It's a chonky boy. It's a cute chonk. 
Oh, it's massive chunk. What do you mean? Bro needs a diet. It is you. It is you. Okay. So I guess you what just need to. What am I doing here? Having a type advantage was great, but there were a few more problems with this battle. Time to kill it, I suppose. Oh, the Skarmory with the setup. It's level 33. Right, I need to think of a good strategy now. What am I doing here? Oh, it protected itself. Oh no, there's a Skarmory. My self Skarmory. This is getting annoying. Wow, that did. Oh, wow, I don't deal a lot of damage. And the Tokide Maru has a citrus. This is insanity. So here was a huge struggle between my ground type horse and these two electric, comma, steel types. The Skarmory was unaffected by ground types, which made my move less effective. But I was continuing to use Bulldoze because it slowed down the Tokide Maru, which I did need for my other teammates. I did find my horse fainting to them at one point of time, so while it recovered, I sent another Pokemon as baits. Oh, and it's sped up. Okay. What was that? Oh no, it used spikes. Hey, what was that? Did it dig or something? Yes, it like disappeared into the air. It used bounce. Um, I might be in trouble, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, can it stop the protection stuff? Yeah, I think I'm in trouble. Okay, my mud is out now. And I'm going to use magnitude. It got one shot. Ah, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Oh, it missed something, it used whatever. And once it was back, there were, it was another stalling fight between my horse and their Pokemon. Since the Togede Maru kept spike shielding my ho horse's moves, I really should have thought this battle better. But it wasn't that big a struggle, considering I hardly lost two Pokemon at the end of the match. Yes, keep increasing defense. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I think my Mudbray might be able to carry me out of this one. No, it crit! You're fucking kidding me! There is no way that happens. Oh god. Oh god, it crit. Don't crit. That's not I, I'm not able to attack them. I'm not really sure what status I have on me. And apart from that, I wasn't really worried about this either. Boropi's stamina kept him going on. His stamina is greater than mine, especially in a certain place. So with that, the battle, at least the Togede Maru, came to an end, and the Skarmory easily taken down by Poopy. I think you have been tormented, right? Yeah, but like I should be able to use... Yeah, I'm not using the same move twice. It's not letting me use a move. I'm just gonna try to use. Am I flinching? Is that what is happening? No, now I'm able to use a move. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not sure. I think I was flinching. I don't think it has moves left. It's gonna use. Yes, it knows bounce. It's gonna use bounce this turn. It didn't use bounce. Toge de Maru. Toge de Maru knows bounce. Yeah, it's using bounce again. And my bulldoze doesn't hit anything. Yes, horse bar killed it. Oh my god, okay. Toge Demaru is down. No, I'm just gonna hit it with my normal moves and my fighting type double kick. Because I want to wear it down before I before I start using actual real moves. Because this Karmari is also going to be a problem. If it starts struggling, that's the best thing though. Gee. Uh, no, never mind. It only gave me 1k HP. Uh, 1k HP. Didn't even level up once. 
So yeah, the Maru didn't hit me. I would have finished them without the need for any revives. But yeah, unfortunately, crit. Anyway, that's my electric crystal. So came in the standard post gym chatter. And there we go. We beat the electric trial with the Togede Maru. I think in a normal playthrough, this definitely would have been one of the easier battles. Followed by his kind of cool dance, and then we battle. Screwed. Well, I'm so fucking screwed. <laughs> yep, I, I, I think this is an easy win for you. I mean, I hope so. I would really not like to lose this Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just see how much damage this does. What? That did a lot of damage. How did you do this much damage? Wait, do you actually have Bug Buzz at level 30? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bug Buzz. No. Uh, okay, how am I gonna do this? So my only chance is this and then somehow you get... Unless I die this turn. Really? That really did 57 and 43. Oh, well. Yeah, well. I mean, yeah, he's probably gonna be Jolteon, right? I don't think. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, I lost two Steel types in... Like, between these two trials. Which is pretty bad. Alright, so we ride ourselves back to the, the town. The cool looking town. I think we need to do some battling here. Because that looks like a boss battle tag right there. Well, after losing those two steel types, we decided that we needed something a little more stolly. I did some research and apparently there is a 5% chance to get a Corsola from fishing and that Corsola has 30% chance to call a Toxapex SOS and uh, after around an hour and a half, we managed to get that. Just like I guessed, our professor was dealing with two goons here who were making rather scary faces. Everyone was like, Professor, help! These people are troubling us. And guess who came in? Okay, that's our man Guzma making his first entrance. And he says, you're, you're an old person, get out of here or something. And yup, he's taunting our professor, but our professor stays uncounted. He says, ah, you think you're a big deal just because you can research? I don't even need to research. I'm, I'm smarter than you. Your peaceful methods have nothing against me. I'll, I'll violence you to death, and you won't be able to do a thing. He's like, ah, oh, spare me your lectures. I don't need to introduce myself. Instead, I will introduce who is my best student. This girl. I'm gonna leave all the responsibility of battling gang leaders who can possibly shoot the hell out of people. To a 10 little 10 year old girl who is um, who is just wearing a cool watch and that's why she's strong. I say I'm ready, I'm strong. Yeah. Obviously as a as a girl. On to the next challenge, which was Guzma. Unfortunately, I might have lost the recording. So here is the freeze frame where you can see that it was a very hard battle. And uh, I was five Pokemon down. Um. And that brings us straight to battling the boss of Team Skull, whose Goliso pod was honestly scary. It took down most of my team in the uh, Luckily, I had gotten two moves off in the entire match, and both his Pokemon were half health. Single shot. But more scary than the Goliso pod was the surprising Mascarin, or uh, Mascarin, I believe, the second Pokemon, which followed right after. Uh, although it's it's a s silly bug Pokemon, it isn't that silly when someone like Guzma holds it, especially when his team is far higher in level than mine is. So, um, yup, with level 30s, I was really struggling against this speedy mon. His Pokemon just had a really good spread of moves, and they were able to virtually beat all of my Pokemon because they were faster and they were higher level, so they would just one shot. Luckily, Toribito, my Birdman, was able to come and get his second aerial ace and by God's luck alone, we were able to heal 
on this turn and he missed somehow and uh, i'll leave the rest for you guys to see and it took us a few revives to actually do something so another close battle happened right here at the end of it we only had ourselves a single pokemon left after it took down most of our team we had to um, revive our team multiple times after my Horopi fell, I sent in my Koopi and it did a little damage with its Aqua Jet. We sent in our Koopi while we revived our Koopi and when Koopi was taken down another hit, Koopi quickly Aqua Jetted it to death. Luckily, we were able to fight a couple of more trainers later and get our Ronald to his final form and finally have a tankyish ghost grass type. We at least we haven't wiped it out and that saves us from sacking a mon and our poopies evolving. Finally, something good happens. We get ourselves a Primarina. Okay. So a little more story here. He's like, oh no, Guzma, this is my last. These eyes, something shall not happen. What, what are you? Pleasure or me? I will defeat you very soon. Me not, Cap Nama. I will remember that name of yours. And I will never forget you. And Guzma walks out with his, with his anger at me. Something. He just, oh, you're a son of a Kahuna. He's like, okay, something. And anyway, he walks out with his DP Cap. Oh no, are you okay? I'm so sorry for having left a little child to fend off for themselves against that monster. But here, just take a stone. I think that should keep you happy, huh? That's all it takes to keep a child happy. And I give him back his mask in return. A little more story follows when he's explaining to how how he's not the protagonist and he should really come to terms with that. Lilie shows that she's worried about us but no one else really cares and Ace Rona is here smiling saying see you guys in the next trial so I suppose we head to her place now. We met this little gnome who gave us her horse and using said horse we were able to meet Professor Oak who has been spending way too much time sunbathing. Here comes Milady, and she's gonna give us a Horopi to ride on, I believe. So we need that horse to ride through the rugged surfaces, and that's precisely what we do. After that, we meet Oak for a while, talk to him, and we talk to How. Lady on story continues, but we don't pay much attention here. We just let them walk out of the scene, and then we go our own way. Here is the entrance to the league, but we don't need that now. And then here are a few children. So we need to help them out. I'm really confused, but Lilia was getting bullied, so we go save her from this grump. It wasn't that hard a battle, so let's just skip through it. She gives us something, and we keep it, and Ace Rola is like, Guys, I'm waiting. Please come fast. <laughs> uh, moving on, we go to the next town. On the way, we find How and Gladion. Luckily, we were not challenged by either of them, because our Pokemon were definitely not healthy and uh, definitely not in any form or shape for a battle but with that we reached the next town and after a couple of trainers we were also able to get our mud break to its final form which meant that we would have another really strong defensive pokemon and our team would be pretty much ready for the next trial which was the ghost but of course that couldn't be the end of it so on the way to the town, basically inside the town, there was another trainer with a haunch crow and if anyone ever asks me how unlucky can I get or conversely how lucky can the enemy get, this haunch crow in this battle hit a total of 8 crits and 2 of them being back to back right here. I just had to record this little part because it was, uh, it could have been really bad. However, we did manage to pull through with the defense raises and on to the trial we go. With that, we have one final thing left to do. Yup, that's right. We give away our Foopy to get a Lele who evolves immediately into a tree.